Hey guys, my name is That Quiet Kid, and in this video, I am going to show you how you can escalate your privileges using shared library and an environment variable that is LD preload. So you have to do a part of the lab build for this exercise yourself. So just navigate to your Ubuntu lab that is our vulnerable machine. Type in vi sudo to modify the sudo's file, and here type in defaults. and type in env underscore keep plus equals to ld preload control x and save this file so you have to make sure that you are logged in as root user on the vulnerable you know vm so this is the part of the exercise that you have to do yourself this is not part of the exploitation this is part of the building lab building so just do this and navigate to your attacker machine that is kali in my case okay now simply log in using the credentials of shared user and the ip is 192.168.1.114 password is shared user as well so type in bash to get a better shell now okay so what we are going to do is we are going to run sudo l command to check if our user can run any sudo commands or not if you do sudo dash l you will see that we can run the date command without requiring the root password so if you navigate to gtfo bins sudo you will see that this will allow us to access the file system so basically you can read a file so usually in this case what we would do is you will try to read the shadow file and basically try to crack the hash but what happens let's say we cannot crack those hashes there is a way to still escalate our privileges so if you check this it says environment keep equals to ld preload so what we did you know in the initial lab setup was we modified the sudo files in such a way that the environment variable is preserved when a user runs a command with elevated privileges so when the command is run it can retain that environment variable so that is what this environment variable ld preload is so i will have to explain to you in a scenario uh, i can explain this in a scenario like let's say when a program is run it has some dependency on the you know shared libraries so usually the linker dynamic linker basically looks after this shared libraries but if you specify those shared libraries using your ld preload what you are going to do is instead of you know a dynamic linker it will go to the ld preload and you know go through the shared uh, shared libraries that are specified by ld preload variable so how are we going to escalate our privileges navigate to hack tricks and search for ld preload so we are going to create a shared library first system is a bit slow right now so simply search for ld pre ld preload yes this is so copy the c code from here Uh, we are in shared user library okay shared user path so run nano shell dot c paste the code here which is basically you know it is setting the group id user id as you know root and basically spawning a bin bash shell so we are going to use gcc to compile this use gcc dash f p i c so this FPIC basically stands for position independent code 
which basically generates a code that can be that can be loaded into memory at any address so dash fpc dash shared library that we want to create let's name it shell.so and shell.c is the file and no start file so basically this no start file tells the linker not to use standard system startup files so if you press enter do ls you'll see you have this shell.so so you saw that for date in gtfo bins you could only read the file now we are going to load our custom shared library and you know we will escalate our privileges to root using ld preload so run the command sudo and i'll specify ld preload equals to slash home specify the whole path shared user slash uh, yes shared user slash shell dot so and run the date command see in this way we could escalate our privileges to root by creating a custom shared library and by making use of this ld preload environment variable so that's it for this video and thank you for watching